past few years, we've been hearing a lot about baby mamas and how some celebrities or very wealthy guys don't really want to stay married. So they want to have a lady, have a child for them, they take care of the child and the lady sometimes, but they just don't want to get married. This week on The Real, I will be talking about a movie trying to tell us the stories about four different baby mamas. It was really hilarious and funny seeing the different lines and directions their lives were going. But it was fun because it taught us a few lessons. Make sure. They say life is short. You must live every day as if it's going to be your last. Pop me up. Let's do rank. That's exactly how I used to live. And Thank you guys. I love you guys. He's going to pride yourself of a sex life because of that baby uh, that's growing in your baby. Do it. Thank and you, don't George. make another one. It was quite difficult for me to predict if I would like baby mama or not because I'm always worried, feminine movies, four ladies, I hope it was going to be interesting. Now the trailer absolutely didn't do any justice to explain what this movie was going to be about. The trailer was just blank. So most people would judge this movie from the trailer. I was one of them and I am sorry to let you know baby mama was fantastic. They say life is short. You must live every day as if it's going to be your last. Pop me up. Let's do rank. That's exactly how I used to live. So this movie was about an hour and 45 minutes long comedy and drama. It was produced by Stephanie Dwayne. Of course, don't forget it was a South African movie. At first you might think it's a Nigerian movie, but you look at the actresses and you're wondering, I don't know any name here, so don't be scared. It's the first time they're coming into Nigerian cinema and most people are skeptical, but don't be scared, it was really good. Hey ladies, we slay. Mm, all day. Hey baby, <laughs> don't come here with your cheap flat at all. Why are you so angry? You know what you need to do? This part of your body, you need to use it to get laid. <laughs> get laid. <laughs> Who says I am not getting laid? <laughs> Boutique hotel oh. somewhere. Hey. Hey. So we, I'll tell you some parts of the story, so you, I'll tell you why you should go watch Baby Mama and why I'm just excited or smiling about the movie. So we had four friends, you know, Joy and her friends. The first lady, she had a son that was about, let's say, seven, eight years old, had him for her first love, who ran away when he found out that she was pregnant, went off for like a few years and then comes back when this boy is already grown and then he wants to have her back in his life and, you know, take her as a wife and she's wondering, where were you when I needed you most? You know, kind of complex. Then she meets a white guy whom she falls in love with, but the fear of having a son and having another daddy kept her in the box for a while. Being in CJ skin and it's positive. I'm still young and there's things I want to do. There's these new sneakers coming out. I just expected more from someone who was raised by a single mother. I still love you. And I know that you like me, but I want you to love me again. Girl. I was with CJ. Same Caesar who kicked you out of the house in the middle of the night. He's better. And did you go? Would you rather your child goes to bed hungry and Tutuko? Of course not, Sandy, but that's not. I don't earn enough money. I'll see you in court. You had lady number two. She was a young lady who was dating this young guy for over four years. Then she gets pregnant, passes in information or news to him that, oh, I'm pregnant, and he gets missing in action for over some months. Sandy! Hello? Hey, yeah. Mm -hmm. Comes back later begging, telling her, oh, I still love you, I was just scared. And she's wondering, if you were scared not to have a baby, how do you want us to get married? It means you're not ready. Hey, baby, your phone's ringing. You have no business going through my phone. Get the hell out of my house right now. I'll tell you things I liked about the movie. So I like the production, was top notch, amazing, good. I like the actresses, they kind of killed it. There was just this fight amongst these four friends and two separating the fight and quarreling but there was still a strong world among them, which is normal with life. I believe that there's good men out there. They are, and they're all after Tony. Michael. Maybe we can grab a bite together. When are you guys kissing? Who <laughs> says we haven't already? You are such an embarrassment. Is that how you got pregnant with Seppo? With a peck on the cheek? I've been cracking my head. I really can't tell you any bad sides about this movie because, of course, I'm not sure the guys will like this movie because, of course, the feminine movie and more girls will be attracted to it since they can connect with it and understand what it is to either be married or be single or be looking for, you know, some girls can connect to it better. So it'll be difficult for guys to actually understand this movie. Hey. No matter what they say, girl, I promise I'll love you forever, every night and day. My verdict is 8 over 10. Yes, you heard me. I loved the movie. I enjoyed so many things about the movie. 
and I think you would also gain one or two things from it. Amazing woman in my life. May we find true love. May we appreciate it once we have it. And may we never, ever, ever settle for less. Thank you, guys. I love you guys. Guys. If you do want to stand a chance, make sure you also follow us this week across our social media handles, which is at VisionDayNG on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is at Business Day on YouTube. And do leave your comments, do your statements. And if you do have any recommendations for us, make sure you do also say that in the comment section. Thank you for watching and have a nice week. Bye. I love you. Please don't deprive yourself of a sex life because of that baby uh, that's growing in your baby. Don't do it. Thank and you. And don't John. make another one.